So we have one more question, Dr. Kaplan, and it's centered around vitamin D. Many times SARC patients are told not to take vitamin D or get too much sun. What are your thoughts on that? So that's actually a really good point. Thank you for bringing that up. <clears throat> so it turns out, it turns out that this is, um, it is complicated. So uh, again, uh, uh, perhaps I made it sound too easy. What I think about when I think about vitamin D is autoimmune diseases tend to run in families. So if you have an autoimmune disease, whether it's MS or sarcoid or the like, you probably want your family blood relatives to get their vitamin D levels checked because that's one of the things, you know, the reason why the rates of MS are so much higher in Canada than in Texas is because there's such low vitamin D um, from the higher, uh, you know, latitudes. Having said that, you do need to work with your doctor. So it turns out that these, um, these granulomas that people get, these sort of walled off infections that people get will convert the 25-hydroxy um, into the more active version, the 125-hydroxy vitamin D. Um, but having said that, if you had a history of low vitamin D and were taking vitamin D, or if you tend to be somebody who just never goes out into the sun and you're more the Dracula type, you're the nocturnal type, uh, which I sometimes am guilty of, then you can work with your doctor. Your doctor just needs to be able to check both your 25-hydroxy and your 125-hydroxy. It's the total. Almost never, unless you have sarcoidosis, will your doctor need to check both. But you need to check both to find out if you have low vitamin D. Um, it just turns out that the 25-hydroxy by itself isn't telling you the amount of active vitamin D you have circulating because these granulomas will convert the inactive into active. So you need to measure both. So um, I think it's, um, I'm really glad that the person raised the question. You don't wanna just go out there and take vitamin D willy-nilly, but it is something that if you had a history of low vitamin D and you tend to be a night worshiper and it runs in your family, then you do wanna to talk to your doctor about checking both of those because if they're both low, then you know that you would benefit from some, uh, but it is much trickier. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, it's much trickier for people with sarcoidosis than it is for the general population.